But what worries me is that we're now faced with um, a set of potential revisions which are not scientifically justified in my opinion, but they're coming from um, an area which is much more dogma than objective science. And whilst ultimately people will decide whether they want those restrictions, we just want to make people aware of the likely implications of those decisions. And one of them is a future where resistance problems are far more accentuated than they are at the moment because we just don't have the variety of compounds at our disposal. It's been said today, not, none of us are opposed to legislation. I think good legislation is uh, to the benefit of everyone, the consumer, the producer, industry. And you know, I, I think over the last 20 years we've, we've come up with a very, very good tight system of legislation in Europe which allows it provides the incentive for the agrochemical industry to produce new compounds. You know, they're not, they're not completely stifled from doing so, but it provides a very strict series of constraints through which they have to operate. And so the compounds that are coming through the system now are incredibly safe, basically, and they're ex incredibly important. And we have to maintain that throughput of new compounds. We have to protect the older compounds. We shouldn't be contemplating just disposing of them for arbitrary reasons, there have to be very good scientific reasons for um, getting rid of them. But ultimately, the larger the variety of modes of action, and that's very different from saying the larger the number of products, simply. Yep. The larger the number of modes of action, the better placed we will be to stave off resistance and ensure the sustainability of the uh, elements of crop protection strategies that continue to depend on chemicals. I, I, I think that will be a tremendous change in our possibilities to control pets, especially uh, the parliament ha, ha, has to, to think uh, in the agriculture of the south of Europe that we have more problems with insects and uh, with this uh, review will We'll, we have fewer and fewer compounds, and when, for example, from, for some pets, we will have just one insecticide. So this insecticide we apply four, five times, so we will be... Resistance starts. Oh. Of course, so we have no tools for manage pets. So we, 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 we know in Spain that we, we can manage some crops with bio, biological control agents, and we know to do this very well. And we have some crops, like with paper, for example, that we can control pets with just with other insects or other mites, so without any, almost any insecticides. But not always this is possible. In, in terms of European legislation, uh, what, what we see is that the growers are faced with more and more difficulties in, in having, having tools, having products uh, to enable the, them to control major problems in their crops. And uh, certainly from a resistance point of view, um, I'm concerned that growers will not be able to manage the problems of resistance in their crops um, in the future. I'm increasingly concerned um, because there seems to be a, a big chance that really useful products um, that can be used in the fight against uh, the, the fight to maintain crop yields um, are going to be lost without real consideration of their scientific value. So um, they are being lost for arbitrary reasons, and um, it is quite possible that some of these products that will be lost uh, according to the, the new legislation um, will leave growers with, with nothing left to manage their diseases. In Denmark we have had a long history of shortage of products already uh, and I think we have seen over the years that actually a lot of the growers already feel this shortage uh, on their daily life so they have problems sometimes in coping with control of pest problems and uh, if the EU registration means that we will have even further products than we already have today then I think I could foresee that we have further problems actually in managing some of the pest and disease problems. In most cases I would agree that uh, the legislation uh, I, I think protect us from having bad stories uh, where they have impact on health uh, and environment. But sometimes we are up to surprises that new issues are 
coming on, like the endocrine uh, disruptors, which uh, indicates that scientists have not known everything right from the beginning. New science is being built and, and teaching us uh, new things about the pesticide. So we should be not taking anything for granted. We should be cautious uh, the way we handle them.